Mm. Hello, everybody. Today is Sunday, March 12th, 2023. I'm here to give you guys some of the current events that have been happening lately. So first off, Senator Joe Manchin hasn't ruled out a 2024 presidential run. So he might be running for president. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu is raising money to assess support for a presidential campaign. Iran is set to increase their cooperation with the International Atomic Energy Agency. A Rohingya refugee camp has been hit by a fire in southern Bangladesh. And there's talks of a South Korean fund that will compensate the Koreans forced to work in Japan in World War II. But the last time I heard about it, there was some resistance to it. So there might not be a follow through with this. And the South Korean president is Yoon suk Yeol. Mortgage rates have been on a rise. They're at 6.65% as of March 2nd. And uh, on Twitter, there's been thousands of pro-Trump bots that have been attacking Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. They're contenders for the Republican primary or presidential election for 2024. And I believe they're orchestrated by Russia, but there's been a lot of them out lately. Gary Rosington, the lead guitarist for Leonard Skinner, has passed away at age 71. And uh, a lot of people are facing charges after an apparent attack on a police training center in Atlanta. We're outside of Atlanta. And the Biden administration is considering to detain immigrant families. There's been a, an outbreak of e-bike fires. Uh, e-bikes have become especially popular since the pandemic and during the pandemic. And in New York especially, there's been a lot of outbreak of fires from these bikes. There was a uh, Norfolk Southern uh, there to add around 200 temperature sensors to their tracks. And this is in low of two derailments they had so far. The first derailment was caused by an overheated wheel bearing. And there's a new cholesterol drug on the market. It's called Nexlatol by Asperian Therapeutics. And basically what it is, it's Vampidoic acid. And the 10 year treasury note, the yield on it has slid to 3.974%, and it was 3.981% Monday. And recently, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell testified to a Senate committee Tuesday discussing central bank policy. So basically what the senators want to know is what's the outlook for uh, monetary policy going forward into the next couple of years because they've been fighting inflation for a while and they, they just want to know how much longer they're going to keep rates higher. So that's what he was testifying about. Binance US has won approval to take over thousands of customers' accounts. They're from Voyager Limited. They went Voyager Digital. They went bankrupt. Uh, I don't remember when. I think it was within the past year. And this is overseen by Judge Michael Wiles of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court of New York. For the first time since 2007, the yield on the two-year treasury note has topped 5%. And the last time I heard about it, it was at 5.011%. And Lego chief executive Neil Christensen, uh, Lego, they've done really great lately. American 
Toy Maker and Mattel, uh, Barbie Maker, they're outpacing them as well as Hasbro. If if you've been grocery shopping lately, you'll know that sunflower oil or any cooking oil, it's gone up a lot lately. This is because of the war in going on in Ukraine, where a lot of sunflowers come from, and the price of sunflower oil peaked at two thousand four hundred and fourteen in March, and it's fallen to one thousand forty nine a ton, and this is because. Uh, Ukraine, instead of processing the sunflower seeds, they've exported them and the processing has been done by uh, whoever imported them. And the prices have started to have gone down along with that. And New York hedge fund, Mudrick Capital Management, is racking up a big win with their six-year investment in Joy Holdings. Marlboro maker Altria has agreed to buy Enjoy Holdings for at least two point seventy five billion, so Mudrick Capital is going to get a pretty decent payout from that. Uh, the RV maker Thor Industries they've cut their outlook on growth. Airstream and Jayco are brands by Thor Industries. They're based in Elkhart, Indiana, and they've. Cut sales guidance by about a billion dollars, putting them at ten point five to eleven point five billion dollars for the year. Elon Musk has taken over Twitter. Twitter is known for not generating uh enough money and being in debt, but he's done some switches at the company where he says there'll be cash flow positive in months. Part of those is adding the. You get the blue badge or the verification badge for, I think, $8 a month. And I think that's one of their that's one of their big cash flows, and so is advertising. And he's also cut. I think he's done some reshuffling with the organization and let people go, fired some people some, to make them more, more, uh, more efficient financially. Germany has launched a 5G review of its of its network because they're too dependent on Chinese technology like Huawei and ZTE Corp. And they want to ban Chinese suppliers. So right now they're just looking around at any vulnerabilities they have and how, the, how they can find a new source for their telecommunication equipment. South Korean companies SK Hynix and Samsung uh they they can get some of the money from the US Chips Act subsidies. I think it was fifty two billion dollars. But they're they're worried about having to submit info about their management and risk to uh the government to apply for the subsidy. So they're hesitant, but they can get that money if they want. A judge has rejected the Missouri gun law called the Second Amendment Preservation Act. And their governor is Mike Parson. And <laughs> it basically means it's illegal for state and local officials to work with federal officials to enforce laws or orders that go against the Second Amendment. So that's been rejected. Federal officials were worried about investigating uh enforcing gun laws because they didn't want to get targeted by the federal government for going against the law, but the judge has taken that down. Tucker Carlson's segment on the January 6th riot has been criticized by Republican uh by Republicans and Democrats because they think it's too too controversial. Yeah. Six Palestinians were killed in a raid at the Jenin refugee camp. Abdel Fattah Farouf, he was a Hamas member, where 65 Palestinians and 14 Israelis were killed in the West Bank. <laughs> have been killed in the West Bank since 2023. 
More than a million French citizens are protesting uh, on Tuesday about Emmanuel Macron's plan to lift the retirement age from 62 to 64. Fra France's pension system, it's, it's in a really bad shape because people are living longer. There's not enough money to fund their pension system. And the only way to fix it is for people to retire later. And people... The people aren't happy about that, so they've been they've been protesting about that for a while. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin made an unannounced visit to Baghdad. He talked with Iraqis officials about the continued troop presence. Uh, basically, what Lloyd Austin wants is that there going to be troops there, but they they don't want to participate in any of the raids that the local military is going on, so they're going to hold back. Women celebrated International Women's Day this week, and women are rejoining the workforce, adding strength to the economy. And crypto bank Silvergate is to close and liquidate. They've gone bankrupt. So is another bank. I'll tell you about that later. And Solan Zuma by Elo Lilianko. They're a drug maker. Uh, one of the drugs that they poured a lot of resources into developing Solana Zumab failed to prevent memory loss. The trial consisted of 1,100 people ages 65 to 85 years old. So Boston City Council approved a rent control measure 11 to 2. Their mayor is Michelle Wu. Uh, yeah, rent's been sky high over there, and they've had to resort to rent control to try to tame the market. And... Uh, it's not Norfolk Southern this time, but an empty CXX train derailed in the New River Gorge National Park in Preserve in West Virginia. And the Senate voted 80, 81-14 to back the city's revised criminal code. So there's been a lot of pushback about the DC, the new DC criminal law. And basically, they're getting rid of the law, which eliminated all mandatory minimum sentences and reduced the maximum punishment of certain crimes. In D.C., crime has been really high lately. There's been a lot of car thefts and thieves. And so they came out with the new criminal code, but people were saying it's, uh, it's not the right thing to do. Biden has to unveil budget blueprint Thursday. The he says that the plan for his blueprint is that it'll cut the deficit by three billion, include eight hundred and thirty five billion in defense. Prescription drug related proposals would save two hundred billion. And the last thing I heard about it is the top Republican Senate of the Armed Services Committee, they want the military spending to be five percent above inflation include a 5.2% pay raise for service members and a 3.2 increase in defense spending. That That is a 3.2 increase in defense spending from last year. Uh, Anthony McRae, 43. His note was revealed that he was hated and lonely. He's responsible for killing three people and injuring five at a Michigan State University uh, incident. And he committed suicide during that incident. And yeah, that's that's all about that story. They just found his note. And airfares have gone up a lot this year. There's been a search for popular spring getaways. People, places where the weather is warmer, ticket prices have been higher. And the average ticket price to Las Vegas has gone up 41%. Okay. GE is competing with uh, Raytheon or Pratt & Whitney on the new F-35 engine. So Pratt & Whitney, Whitney they, they build most of the military's jet engines, but GE is saying that they can give a better engine for the F-35, and they're lobbying Congress to provide support for the new engine type. That will add a lot of business to GE, where the production of jet engines is a really big 
income source for them. GMC, on the other hand, for electric vehicles, they've been really slow with their electric vehicle production. They've been stalling with the Cadillac Lyric and the GMC Hummer, and their CEO is Mary Barra. Domino's Pizza, uh, known as DPC Dash in Hong Kong, operates pizza stores in China. They've refiled paperwork for Hong Kong, IP, an IPO in Hong Kong. Okay. And the shares of the Ad Adani family in India, a really famous business family, have risen after the family prepaid loans worth $902 million. Their bank loans that mature in April of 2025, and the combined market value of the seven Adani stocks was $98 billion, down from $217 billion before the Hindenburg report uh, that came out that took a big crunch on their on their business. Microsoft is planning to add AI tools to their business software systems, uh, like ChatGPT. And the shale boom wanes as gushers dry up. So America, we produce most of our oil by shale. The average well is putting out 6% less oil than the prior year. And in Syria, an airstrike on the Aleppo International Airport is hindering earthquake aid. So if you remember a couple of weeks ago or a month, maybe there was an earthquake in Turkey and Syria killed, I believe, 44,000 people injured many more uh you had contractors uh building contractors in turkey that were arrested because their buildings were against the business uh the the construction code so if they had a building that toppled they were arrested <clears throat> just because there was an earthquake uh yeah a lot of the aid comes in through the aleppo national airport and i believe the airstrike was carried out by Israel. So that's hindering out of the aid. Okay. US, the US's largest banks lost billions of dollars in value. Silicon Valley Bank lost $2 billion after selling assets. Their shares fell 60%. And I believe Silicon Valley Bank, they're looking at getting out of business or being taken over. The four biggest US banks lost $52 billion. Uh, more on President Biden's budget blueprint. It's a $6.9 trillion budget. And he wants to raise taxes on the wealthy and corporations to get more tax revenue. He wants to quadruple the 1% stock buyback tax, as well as raise the top individual tax from 37 to 39.6% and raise the corporate rate tax from 21 to 28%. He also wants to increase tax on Americans, uh, businesses that do business abroad in foreign countries. Okay. Elon Musk is planning a utopia in Bastrop County. It's for SpaceX, Tesla, or Boring employees. And the houses are designed to charge... Uh, Below mark and rent just before the employees. If the employees get fired, they have to move out. And it's going to be near where they where they work. And that's coming out pretty good. I saw some pictures of it. Still a work in progress, though. Mm. But he owns a lot of land in Texas. Elon Musk does. Steve Watkin. Uh, that's not relevant. Robert Blake, an actor acquitted on his... Wife's killing has passed away at 89. He was a star in Cold Blood. He was an actor back in uh, before 2000, I think 80, the 80s. There's been a new drug to hit the market with a hefty price tag. Uh, or in general, drugs for cancer and rare diseases have they have a really high uh, cost, usually $20,000 a month. And the American Association of Railroads has issued an advisory calling for certain rail cars to be taken out of service. Uh, this is because they want to reduce accidents because there's been three accidents in the last month. 
So they're just taking some precautions. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has invited Trump to testify to grand jurors on his hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. He had a, an affair with her at one point. That's the rumor. And they're inviting him to come tell his side of the story. The 11th Circuit Court of Appeals has upheld the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act. It constitutionally bans adults under 21 from purchasing guns. The gunman that carried out the attack at the high school, Marjorie Stillman Douglas, he was under 21. And by this measure, they're restricting guns from people under the age of 21, reducing gun violence or the threat. And in California, water managers are fast-tracking projects to harvest storm runoff. State Department of Water Resources is fast-tracking them, and they want to store 1.6 trillion gallons of water in underground aquifers. Medicare and Social Security consume 10.5% of GDP by 2033. Patients live longer. Uh, there's new treatments that cost more. Uh, that means you know those all cost more money. And inflation that raises the per capita expenditure. So they're trying to find a way to budget the <clears throat> budget the money so you know they can they can pay for all these things in the future. And in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, golf news, Chad Ramsey won the players championship with eight under sixty-four. He was one point away from Colin Morikawa who got second place at uh, one point above Colin Mori or below in golf Morikawa. And so he got second, uh, the general data protection regulation, uh, companies could be violating European privacy laws if they mishandle data after a cyber attack. So a company can be hit by a cyber attack and they might not back up their data or they might mishandle it or it gets corrupted and, if they lose that data, you know they're held accountable by European privacy laws. A Nevada biodiesel refinery, Rise Renewables 2, filed for bankruptcy after a loan default. They plan to produce 7,500 uh, barrels of refined diesel fuel a day. And Hernan Lopez was convicted of conspiring to commit wire and bank fraud. I think he was a Fox News affiliate. He tried to bribe FIFA officials to broadcast the game. And Silicon Valley Bank has been taken over by the federal deposit. Uh, I think it's insurance. The FDIC. The new entity, the Deposit Insurance National Bank of Santa Clara, is what it's been renamed to. And Boeing has been authorized to resume deliveries of the 787 jet. So the 787 jet, you had two crashes. You had one in Africa and one in, I think, Indonesia. And there was something with the, I think, the autopilot system. So they put the plane on hold and they were given a year to recertify the plane and it's been recertified and now it's coming back out. So Saudi had, the, uh, they restored the relationship with Iran that was brokered by China. Iran will halt against Saudi Arabia attacks against Saudi Arabia, including Houthi rebels and uh, it backs in Yemen. Houthi rebels at backs in Yemen. Civil war. They will each reopen embassies in their respective countries. So Saudi and Iran, they've been fighting. Saudi Arabia had their oil facilities attacked by Iranian drones. And that was retaliation because Saudi Arabia executed a Shiite cleric member that was from Iran. And that insulted them. And... China mediated a deal. Diamond Sports Group LLC is expected to file for bankruptcy. 
AT&T Sport Networks, a Warner Bros. Discovery Inc. unit says it will no it no longer has money for rights to carry the games. So both of them, neither of them can pay for the games. Diamond is a part of Sinclair Broadcast Group Inc. They're $8 billion in debt from a 2019 deal from Walt Disney Co. Uh, Walt Disney and... Uh, And uh, yeah, an eight billion dollar in debt from a twenty nineteen deal for Walt Disney Co. Regional Sports Network that uh they took control of. House Republican want tight restrictions on government spending in exchange for approving a debt ceiling increase. So the Republicans they don't mind increasing the debt ceiling. They don't they don't like to do it, but if they are. They want they want to know what the money is going to be spent on. Senator Roger Wicker, the top Republican Senate Armed Services Committee, uh, he he was being vocal about what they want the money to be spent on, and a medical transport helicopter crashed in North Carolina on Thursday. It was an MC one thirty five helicopter. Uh, everyone survived. No, there were no fatalities, luckily. And Governor Ron DeSantis, that's a tender for the 2024 presidential, uh, presidential election. He hasn't made it official yet. He plans to do that in May or June. He went to uh, uh, Iowa, a really big battleground state, and he met with um, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds, who plans, and he plans to enter the, yeah, the race not too long from now. Meta, uh, Facebook, Instagram, they plan to cut 13% of their workforce and projects cuts include wearable devices and that's made in their division called Reality Labs. Their chief financial officer is Susan Lee. DocuSign, uh, their shares slid 23% to $49.69 and they're down the last 12 months by 47%. DocuSign, they're an electronic signature company. They were they've taken off since the pandemic and they've been really popular because uh in the pandemic there was a lot of video conferencing and people couldn't meet face to face. So they were doing electronic signatures and they've got they've been a lot of a lot more well known since then. Vice Media has received four hundred million dollars from Group Black. It's a black-owned media company. And Fortress they loaned two hundred and fifty million dollars to Vice, and they're the first to be paid out. The company is sold. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's a planned uh, North Optic fiber cable. They want to implement from it will require it'll cover ten thousand five hundred miles and cost one point two billion dollars. <laughs> in this region, there's not a lot of uh, good connectivity in the Arctic area and up in those regions. It takes a really long time to check emails, upload medical scans, do business. So they want to install this fiber optic cable over there. And in Amsterdam, the red light district, they want to restrict um, no marijuana in public, a restriction on sex clubs, have a, implement a curfew for bars and reduce alcohol sales because all the partying that's going on over there, it's uh, been a burden for residents' uh, life. So... They want to they want to say no to tourists and improve the quality of life for the people that live there. Thank you for tuning in to this podcast. I'll upload two times a week or at most and once a week if I have time. If you have any suggestions or topics you want me to cover, let me know and I'll provide a more in-depth analysis next time. Have a good day.